Howdy folks, Grok the Duck Farmer here, and I'm on the FTOG Enigmatica 2 server, hanging up here at the top of my base, and I have to show off a little something real quick, because I got a, uh, a suggestion, yeah, <laughs> uh, one of the, the, the comments, uh, Wizard1399 uh, said, you know, why don't you play a game of Tetris there on the side of your building, and I said, uh, why not indeed that sounds like a very good idea and as you can see uh, I'm hoping to slot that right in place but yeah I've kind of messed up so it's it's gonna take a while and I'll get this in piece next and, and maybe there and I don't know what's coming after that also said the other side needs to be a little bit more decorated so I grew a birch tree vine see it uh, grew up from there and it's kind of crawling up along the the side here which is pretty nice because I'm right up against a birch forest with these uh, tall birch trees, which I, I really like. But, you know, I wanted something on the building. And so now you do. Anyway, <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's go take a look in here. Grthump. Uh, I just realized that if I go like this and that, I can make a name tag. Which I think is pretty slick. So let's go in here and spend a level and we'll go ahead and do Charlie. Why not? Uh, we'll do Charlie Cat. You know, full name. Alrighty, so I wanted to get some things done. And to get some things done, let's take some uh, obsidian and run it through the pulverizer. I'm going to take some uh, of these diamonds and run it through the enrichment chamber and let it do some stuff. But that's not what we're going to do right now. Instead, what I want to do is look at a few things with uh, the actual additions. Now, if we take a quick look at the quests, actual additions, quests, uh, got the book, I would made the atomic reconstructor, and I made some Minori, got the worms, I got the farmer uh, as a quest reward, and balls of fur. Well, balls of fur where do you get balls of fur you get those from cats tamed cats and where do you get tamed cats well you get those on top of your crates that's where you get them uh actually you get uh, your your cats in the jungle and let's click you there now it's charlie cat oh, here you sit and they will occasionally uh hawk up a, a fur ball and uh he's done quite a few let's go ahead and, and if you right click these things you will get stuff out of them so uh, that's not bad. You can actually get stuff like a di Well, let's do all 64. Why not? We'll just sit here and talk. Um, you will get a whole bunch of uh, fun little bits and pieces and whatnots. I remember in another pack getting a diamond. Uh, maybe one out of every other stack or something like that. Let's see what we got. Yep, no diamond this time. But, you know, that's not bad little resources. Just for having Charlie Cat sit here on top of my hopper to uh, throw it into my crate. So, thank you very much. Alrighty, let's go back down. Uh, because I had done the uh, the Atomic Reconstructor. And let's grab all those, and let's grab all those, and let's grab all these. Because we're going to do some Atomic Reconstructing. So let's go spit. That turns that into a Nori. And let's spit that in there. And that's more Anori. And the quartz, actually, I want to do two things with that. Let's go ahead and make some of these. There we go. So, some quartz and some chiseled quartz. Ha ha. Was that all of it? Yes. Aesthetic quartz and aesthetic green quartz, which is kind of funky. All right, you are done and you are done. Let's do the redstone at this point. Make redstone and restonia. Between, yep, that did it. And then let's go ahead and make these. The diamond and the emerald will turn into diamantine and emeraldine. Well, whatever. Uh, diamantine and emeratic crystals. All right. And then the coal and the lapis, those are going to become palace and void crystals. There we go. So now I've got uh, some of each of all the various bits and what's it's that come out. We can go ahead and break those into bits and break those into bits. And I think we've got everything. Well, let's go upstairs because this floor, I've got enchanting over there, nothing over there. Here we got our beetle. 
and food because you know nothing says food like beetles and this is going to be my actually additions area because that's where i got my cat hi there charlie uh, who is currently uh, behind me um playing and having fun so that's kind of what he does so let's make some iron casings so four of those is handy and here's where i need a whole bunch of these basic coils that's why i needed this rustonia and i feel like i need more than that but we'll, we'll see how well i actually did all this because you know maybe i counted right maybe i didn't because what do i want to do next i want to make a crusher oh. uh, let's do the making of stuff over here let's make a crusher all right that's one of the quest things uh pretty cheap to make and uh not a bad thing to do uh, let's go over to here and make the powered furnace so if you've got rf you can start with those two yep, questies all right the next thing i want to do is make some display stands and here's where i needed all these bits so let's shift click this because i need five of these guys there we go and i need to make the empowerer -er -er -er, which means i need a battery which means i need a single battery which looks like this i just need one thank you thank you thank you don't be greedy i also need to make the double battery which looks like that cool and now i can make the empowerer and there we go now we've got all that in place and i also want to make the experience solidifier because you occasionally get these guys and you can pick up experience this way in the solidifier except empowered dimethine crystal blocks well you can make out of nine of those or you can use the empowerer to sit there and take dimethine and turn it into the empowered with rf well that means we've got to do some stuff over here which is what we're going to do right now let's take these bits uh this we'll just no oh, i didn't want to spit you out i wanted to place you there we go completed greenhouse gas classes really uh oh i had gotten those as a quest reward that's what i had to anyway i want to make this and something else anyway i need to go ahead and make a little room here make a little stuff like this these two uh quartz fixtures came from below because there's lights below here because yes i was prepping to see w what's the size of everything that i wanted here and i'm going to use the xnet to set everything up and so these uh, blue connectors uh, let's put another two there uh, they are going to hold the display stand so crouch click crouch click Let's click all right and then i need one more connector here in the center and that's where the um, actual empowerer goes uh, it doesn't need power but these others do so let's go ahead and connect 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 all right so now they're all connected here and i really don't need you anymore let's go ahead and put you away i don't have two chests well i totally forgot to make two chests let's go ahead and do that right now and i'll just uh, edit it out and we'll pretend like it uh, worked uh, perfectly i'll take one of you and let's make uh, one of you because i do everything flawlessly no mistakes whatsoever perfect every way all right let's head back up so as uh, we were uh, completely uninterrupted here there we go let's put a chest there and a different chest but similar there all right uh, that will work very nicely and uh, let's start programming this uh, i always do energy first just because you know power uh, so we'll start with that and we're going to pull it out of here and then that needs to go into these four and we can also stick it into there but it probably doesn't matter because you know it's pulling it directly out of there so power done we look at these you can see in the corner it's got eighty thousand crystal flux which is the same thing as rf which is the same as forge energy it's it's all the same stuff next i want to uh let's do the output so let's go ahead and uh, uh output 
it doesn't have to be in this order and I wish you would show the last one sometimes but uh, I want to pull from here and we're going to insert into the dark oak and say it's done kind of looks from here like a spruce why are you saying you are a spruce chest when you're a dark oak anyway that that should pull from there because and into there done and now we'll do the inputs because that's got a lot more stuff okay so that's going to go into there and into there and into there and into there and also into there and it's going to pull from here so let's extract single and we're going to do the extract as round robin so it's going to take each one and put it into each of these now what we want to do is make sure that we do not put uh, the stuff that we don't want to be put in there oh, oh, oh. I need an extra one of these and yes because I need a block of this block of that a block of that a block of this and I need a block of Restonia because I want to teach it what it can put in different places and it has one more view let's go ahead and make a quick block there we go yep I should have made uh, one extra but that's okay so now uh here i'm uh, blacklisting and say do not accept these at no no meta take none of these likewise this guy is going to be blacklisted so it's all the same all four of these that prevents these crystals going onto the display stands in the corners and we really don't want any of them to do that they should only go into the center and fortunately uh, this mod pack doesn't really seem like it's in empowering other items than these six which is handy and this one will keep it um, so it's whitelisted they go in here and nowhere else there we go let's do a quick check and very black black oh, oh that needs to be blacklisted there we go quick check perfect all right so that should mean the stuff goes around as it's supposed to we'll take this put that in there and it put the one in there and it only puts one it can't put multiples in there which is fine that's exactly what we're looking for now let's take the rest of the stuff that we were making and where is all my oh in here that's where it is uh this is the, the the rest of the makings now i need seven of you let's move you down seven of you and then i don't have enough room let's get rid of a bunch of this stuff for right now all right and seven of you so now i can go and it'll start processing them and you see how it, it put all four of those around very nice and no I don't want doubles don't want doubles I just want a single one uh, what happened to oh do not stack up there we go because it will go in order if I have them all stacked together it'll try each one of these as a stack so I, f I figured out if, if I keep these separated like this then this can only go in the center so it doesn't matter and then it goes in order down the rest and as it's done it spits them into here kill cool. okay I'm gonna take this guy and break it apart so I can get the individual crystals because we'll need that and then we'll need a bunch of these other things someday so you're done and you're done and you're done and you're done all right experience solidifier I need one of you I need one more so you go there and I had already grabbed all of these bits let's grab you and you and you and I think that's all I need uh, we get one of these advanced coils goes there and what wrong one this over here come on hurry up there we go just did it in time and this will make the experience solidifier which is cool we're just gonna stick him right there for now oh there's a quest for that really was the quest for that 
Oh, that's right. The, the quest for it is there. But that's not my end goal with the, the actual editions. No. Uh, I want something else. You can go away. The item repairer. Now, there is another item repairer, which is the... Uh, the, the um, you can do it with the magma anvil, which repairs stuff with lava, or the empowered diamond anvil, which frankly is way cheaper than what I'm doing here but I'm, I'm using actual editions so I'm, I'm making it with actual editions and this is taking its own sweet time so we got three more to process okay two more to process I like that how that works so let's prettify things up I got these facades I just crouch click there so now I can reach in and let's crouch click these things into place now don't mimic the chest and uh, we'll make all of these pretty because pretty uh, you try this in the, the the 114 version and it just doesn't work <laughs> it doesn't work at all it crashes the computer which is not fun at all uh, this I need two of these that 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 this the, the okay oh oh these are empowered Anori crystals. I just got the regular Anori crystals. Well, we're going to have to empower this and leave those alone. Uh, so that's almost done. That's all done. We've got our four here. Where did I have my bits? Oh, over here. I need four of these. And that makes the ender casing. And that's just block of black quartz. That's just four. And so now I need those four that that and the other okay so you go in the center you go there you go there and now I need the empowered Inori and empowered Inori you can do it as a block or you can do it individually that's showing individually now let's do this okay now it's the block button cobblestone a gray and a snowball all right well let's take that and drop it in there so button cobble all right let's come over here i need a cobble and that and a snowball and gray are you light gray or nope not trash i think it's just gray because this is where memory like a steel trap yeah it's just the regular gray okay i just need a snowball let's grab a snowball I completely missed that it was empowered. Uh, there's the snowball and the snow. Let's turn that into a button. All right, back up we go. Too far, there we go. So I can take you and you and you and you. And I like that, it just sticks them all around. Uh, I quite often I'll just, if I don't have any good cabling, I'll put uh, stuff like, um, hoppers uh, against these and then you could stack them up in the hoppers and they'll feed them in one at a time that works it's a little manual and this is nicely not so i like that yay done let's go ahead and grab those come over to here and i need two of you and the item repair oh yes that's what i've been looking for because uh let's see power wise i should be able to stick that right there and it's getting power cool nice all right i can take this stuff off and let's repair the iron armor now while we're doing that let's take this pulverized obsidian and that's way more than i needed huh okay well because math uh me and math uh what happened to my I'm missing my other that's the Osmond compressor there's my... oh nope nope right here metallurgic infuser was just staring me in the face and I couldn't see it uh, let's uh, do those three that'll get me 24 of these uh, obsidians let's pull out that charge that guy up and technically I really don't need 24 of those but oh, I'm just going with it uh, I, 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 I can use those later, so it doesn't have to be, you know, perfectly done, which is fine by me. How are you doing them? You're 
are so slow. Oh, so slow. Anyway, this is uh, chewing up power here as well. Let's look at how power-wise we're doing. That power is going down fast. Well, I did just in char uh, empower a whole bunch of stuff this stuff so yeah that that does suck up a lot of rf2 there it's going back up because some of these things stopped all right let's put the that in place this is not cheap power wise but it's it's nice to have all right these guys six now we'll just start with the the six that i've got i'll put these into the osmium compressor and like i said normally i only do these one at a time but i'm going to go ahead and put in a bunch more it will eat more osmium than it actually needs which is really annoying because watch did you notice that that blue popped in before this was finished so annoying but if you do them one at a time it consumes it just exactly what you need and nothing else so I put 40 in it's gonna eat up more than that that just bugs me it's 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 inefficient it's some sort of bad math in there someplace and i don't know why other than bad math yeah bugs bugs me to no end anyway so i now have completely repaired stuff there let's go ahead and charge you back up and repair you because it's nice to have everything fixed and sharp and, and not broken or any of that stuff because that would be bad yeah, we're running out of power. That's okay. I don't have uh, great screaming amounts of power at this point. It, it comes in very, very slowly. It's a very trickle power. Uh, Power-wise, let's see. I, um, I have one uh, windmill, which does something like 80 RF, and then the solar, the advanced solar, which is like another 70 some odd. So there's not a lot coming in. It's going back up again. That's almost 5 million RF eaten up so far. <laughs> That's what you get. All right, let's throw those in. And uh, while that's doing this, I've got some obsidian armor pieces here. Now, these I got while killing um, the nether skeletons and, and whatnots. And uh, they're pretty good armor. That's five armor and four durability, whatever the thing. This is two. So that gives me a, an armor of nine, adding those together. And this is two. <laughs> so since I got these two, I figured I can repair them. And I can repair them with my item repair. -er -er -er. So I'm just making the rest of the armor over here. And because I have these, that's seven for this and four for another that I don't need to actually make out of the refined, but I'm making it anyway, because why not? All right, let's grab these 15 and let's make this armor there. Oh, I've got sufficient right now. That means I can stop this. Uh, that's the chest plate and let's go ahead and make some helmets. There's my helmet. And I've got pants and legs. I've got all the armor. Okay, so 5, 4, 12, 4. <laughs> this is so much better armor. <laughs> oh, look at all those uh, shields. And so the left has got to be armor and the right's got to be durability. Holy cow. So let's take that away. And put that away and that away and that away. And you are still going. You're almost done. How are we for power? Ooh. Fortunately, I've got a whole bunch underneath there in my power cell. So, or the energy cell, technically. All right. Let's put on all the iron first, just for comparison's sake. Okay, so on the right, there's five durability, and on the left, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven and a half armor. That's pretty respectable. I, I, you know, that's all the armor I've had up to this point, so I'm okay with that. Now, <laughs> we've got a full 10 uh, durability on the right, and 10, 15 armor on the left. So much better armor. 
All right, let's take the legs off and uh, get those uh, charging, not charging, but repairing. <laughs> Almost broken, all the way down to like 15. So that's quite, uh, quite broken. Yeah, that's okay. All right, so actually additions has some really fun bits in it and we've barely kind of scratched the surface. Let's go back here. Uh, I've got several of these quests. Let's claim them all. Boom. And let's see what we get. Ooh, sleep charm. Do I not have a sleep charm already? I did make one. Okay, that's okay. And mint chocolate chip ice cream. Yum. And jack-o'-lanterns. Eh, you know, I've made some of those. Record. Go away. I need to bring you down. Uh, ooh, resonating gem from astral sorcery. Very, very nice. We will be doing that. And a heavy plated shield from immersive engineering. I've never made that before. So now I don't have to. <laughs> it's been made for me. I think this is my, yeah, this is my quest rewards bag. So we'll shove all that stuff into there. Cool. Yep. Got two of these ME storage units just ready for me and a Devnal, which I thought was pretty cool. But resonating gems, those are very nice for astral sorcery. I may have to jump into astral sorcery and get some of that going. That would be very, very nice. And you're done. You're done. And there's the eight left over because I cannot math. But that's okay. Uh, I can break these back down into refined obsidian dust because these I can then use to uh, turn into this, which I can then use to turn the reinforced into atomic alloys for, for mechanism stuff. But that's for later. We'll store that in there too because we'll need that too. Are you done? Oh, so much. <laughs> So much. Uh, actually, addition is fun. Let's take a quick, uh, nope, wrong key. Uh, let's take a quick look at actually additions. Uh, stuff in there. There's several of these, these uh, rings and, and whatnots that, unfortunately, because they take, in this case, blaze, um, blazes the fuel, it, you, you can't like uh, breathe underwater forever it's going to slowly eat up the blaze, which is, eh, eh, eh. Uh, these batteries are good for portable RF. Uh, these crystals are great for finding them in underground. They provide light. They look really good. Uh, other stuff that's fun that I like these uh, relays. They're a way of, of transmitting power and items and, and stuff uh, without having to have actual conduits and they look kind of cool. Uh, done very very little with all the phantom stuff. I should I should spend some time looking at that. Uh, the bla breaker and placer and the f placer and collector. I should uh, set those up for making the. Uh, let's look at the quests here. Uh, making the the oil generating, doing the canola press to make the the fancy uh, and charged and powered whatever canola oil for for burning in the oil generator. That. I'll probably do that just to show it off. Uh, automatic feeder, I really don't need animals. Ranged collector, that's another way of grabbing stuff from a distance. Interesting. Oh, see, I, I would need that. That's actually fairly cheap. I could do this before going into the nether. I'd been doing with the, the, actual, the other hopper, this one. Uh, which does require going into the nether and killing a, a wither skeleton for that wither dust. But I, I like them. They've got a large area and I've not been making this before. We'll have to do that. But that's a different episode. Not right now. And I feel kind of naked because I don't have my pants on. But uh, don't look. I've got my overalls. Anyway, uh, actual additions is fun. There's a bunch of good stuff in there, and I'm really glad to have the item in uh, repair. I love being able to ha have all my tools and whatnot working. And sometimes, and I'm not sure if it's the case in this pack, you can take your Tinker's tools and throw it in there too and repair it, which is very nice if you have a lot of durability taken off of your tools. It depends pack to pack, but uh, maybe, maybe. Don't know. Both my stuff is repaired, so can't test that. Anyway, this has been Grok the Duck Farmer here, messing around with actually additions here on the FTOG Enigmatica 2 server and getting stuff done. Thanks for watching. Bye. Now I gotta get my pants. <laughs>